Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about hybrid ring or rat race junction. Hybrid ring or rat race junction. Hybrid ring or rat race junction is the fourth type of T junctions. Okay, previous uh, videos I have explained E plane T junction. That is the first one. Uh, like H plane T junction. Second one E plane T junction. Third one is magic T, which is a combination of both E plane and H plane. That is also known as hybrid T junction because it is a combination of E plane and H plane T junctions that is also known as hybrid T junction and in this video I am going to explain the last type of T junctions that is hybrid ring or rat race junction. <coughs> this figure shows the hybrid ring or rat race junction which is having four ports like this. Okay, so the rat race junction or hybrid junction is constructed from a rectangular waveguide which is designed in a circle shape where four ports are connected like this okay so a rectangular a rectangular waveguide is constructed in circular shape where it has four ports as shown in the figure as shown in the figure Okay, now see here this is the rat race junction. Let us consider four ports are named as first port, second port, third port, and fourth port. The construction is such a is in such a way that when input is entering from this first port, when input is entering from the first port, the signal will come from the second port only it will not go into third port and as well as fourth port and similarly when power enters from second port that goes into the third port but it will not come from the fourth port and as well as first port and similarly the power enters from the third port goes towards fourth port and it will not come from the first port that means what we have to understand from this uh, rat race junction is which is the succeeding port 1 2 is the succeeding port for 2 3 is the succeeding port for 3 4 is the succeeding port and similarly when input is applied at the fourth port that will be coming out from the one first port but not from the other ports that means whichever is the next succeeding port that port will be benefited by the power and remaining ports are not benefited by these powers okay so this is the actual operation and working of this hybrid t junction hybrid ring junction or rat race junction now coming to why it is rat race uh, suppose in our normal houses we can see how the rats are uh, going and in, going into the hole suppose if any rat goes into this hole and again coming out from this one just a rat uh, can go in and come out from any of these holes okay as it is in the form of that type of holes also the name is given like that nothing more than that so it is a rectangular wave get constructed in such a way that the holes are formed in this way okay now what could be the reflection coefficients from other ports and what could be the scattering matrix parameters of this hybrid t junction hybrid uh, ring junction or rat race junction how we can calculate the how we can calculate the what is that uh, scattering matrix parameters so i will write here few statements what i have explained so far the power will be coupled to the power will be coupled to the succeeding port only remaining ports are uh, 
we can say isolated ports especially when we are we are giving first input at the first port second port is the output port and whereas third port is isolated port suppose if any leakage power occurs in this direction that leakage power may also enter into this fourth port but exactly the third port is isolated port and similarly when input is coming out from this one two third port is benefited and first port is maybe error signal may be generated but fourth port is terminated okay so we can write isolated ports as so list of isolated ports from this rat race junction uh, isolated ports are 1 and 3 2 and 4 isolated ports are 1 and 3 and as well as 2 and 4 <coughs> that means as yes, 1 and 3 are isolated ports the scattering matrix the s matrix parameter s matrix parameter s13 is equal to 0 similarly as 2 and 4 are isolated ports s yes, 2 4 is equal to 0 s yes, 2 4 is equal to 0 okay and one more thing uh, we know uh, this is the first condition uh, to derive the s matrix parameters and second condition is we know from symmetry property symmetry property of S matrix symmetry property of S matrix SIJ is equal to SGI so S12 is equal to S21 and similarly S13 is equal to S31 S24 is equal to S42 S23 is equal to S32. Okay, these are the symmetry property outcomes. And coming to ports that are attached to the main waveguide. Main waveguide is nothing but this circular shape. The circular shape which is having that waveguide is nothing but main waveguide. Whereas this waveguide first port, second port, third port, fourth port, these are the four different types of waveguides that are joined to this main waveguide. If the port is having exact impedance that is equal to the characteristic impedance of this main waveguide, then we can say the port is exactly matched. The impedance is exactly matched. For all the ports, this uh, formula is applicable. So, yes, 11 is equal to 0, yes, 2t equal to 0, yes, 3, 3 equal to 0, and similarly, yes, 4, 4 equal to 0, because all ports are perfectly matched with the main waveguide transmission line. So, as all the ports are perfectly matched. S11 equal to S22 equal to S33 equal to S44 equal to 0. Okay. So, with all these assumptions, with all above conditions, S matrix S is equal to how many ports are there? 4 ports. So, how many? Parameters are there. 4 by 4 matrix is there. So, 16 parameters are there. S11, S12, S13, S14, S21, S22, S23, S24, S31, S32, S33, S34 and S41, S42, 
S four three S four four. Okay, so that is equal to now S one one. What is S one one zero? S one two is as it is. S one three. What is S one three? See the first statement. As one and three are isolated ports, S one three is equal to zero, and it is S one four. And the S two one. We can say it is S one two or same, and S two two is zero, and S two three. S two three is same, and two four two and four are isolated ports. So, and next S one three. S two three, S three two, S two three. Now what is S one three? S one and three are isolated ports, so we can write it as zero. This is also zero. And S two three, S two. Uh, it is S one, S three one, S three two or two three. And yes, three three as three third port is perfectly matched. It is zero. And next yes three four. And next yes one four or yes four one. And next four two yes four two two and four are isolated ports. Yes four three yes three four and yes four four perfectly matched. It is zero. So there are two possibilities. One is isolated ports to become it is zero, and another one is it may be perfectly matched port okay so this is the s matrix parameters of hybrid ring or rat race junction so the main application of this rat race junction is it can also be used as a duplexer like your magic t okay we can use hybrid ring Or rat race junction in the transmission transmitters and receivers receivers as duplexer as duplexer. Okay. This is what the rat race junction and its use. Thank you.